Hi, my name is Marta Flores. Thank you, Winach Valley Museum, for inviting me to talk about Mayan art. I am from El Salvador, Bash, Guatemala, so I have uh, grew up with a lot of pottery and Mayan culture knowledge. We have some beautiful replicas. These are not, of course, the real thing, but they are imitations, replicas of pottery of the Mayans. This is a little figure pottery, which I really like figures because I am a sculptor and I do figures uh, myself out of clay. So these two are probably my favorite ones. This one is called Guerrero, which is like a warrior because of his helmet. But who knows? He has two pieces of, uh, looks to me like bread, really, on his arms, on his hands. But I really, we really don't know what his um, duties, what he was doing, his activities. This, I think, is very beautiful because he has designs. He has some of the drawings that you can see. Mayans, uh, about a thousand years ago, they existed. They still are. We are all descendants of the Mayans. And they stretch from Mexico to Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras. And you can find beautiful pyramids that they left, palaces, housing. Uh, in Tikal, in, in Guatemala, there's a beautiful place. If you ever go there, you will love it. These beautiful white pyramids made out of uh, substones, which is very light, very white. And uh, of course, Chichen Itza in the Yucatan Peninsula is an amazing uh, building, monument. And so there are so many beautiful places that you can go through the Mayan route, they call it. And today we're going to be making some uh, little pottery out of clay to show you how easy it is and how much fun it is. Clay is just an amazing medium. It cuts with a string. I cut the big piece with a string. Now I'm cutting it with my hands. Usually when I make clay figures, I start doing it all out of one piece of clay. I will show you how to add clay to clay, but it's easier if you start with one piece of clay and put the legs and we're gonna make a little figure pottery. So I take a piece of clay and make it look like a potato kind of a thing. Then I'm pressing right here is gonna be his head. And I say his because I'm gonna to try to make this little guy here. I'm not gonna go all the way into detail because we don't have the time, but you can kind of see the arms are coming, the head. Then I'm gonna take one of our tools. We use very simple tools. And so did our ancestors. This is a popsicle stick and this is a skewer, a shish kebab stick. So I press right here to make the legs. So you see now I'm pulling the clay to make longer legs. So here is my little figure. These are his arms. He's gonna be holding a pot and his little head. I'm gonna add a little nose right there, just a tiny piece of clay. And then I can do eyes with my um, the back of my stick, okay, and mouth. So kind of a very, rudimentary, very uh, easy, right? Basic uh, little figure. But just to show you how simple it is, you can take your time and make it nice and more uh, detail oriented, at air. Okay, a pot. We have many different kinds of pots. This is called a pinch pot. And a pinch pot is a little ball of clay. Just roll it in your hands like that. Then you take your thumb and you push it in. Then you take your other thumb and you push it in. So both thumb, and then you press and you go around and around until the hole in the pot is pretty much uh, even. You know, if you press evenly, you might have a very uh, almost perfect little pot. This one is not. Okay, so there's my little pot. Now I'm gonna scratch. Scratching in clay, we call it scoring. And that's the thing that makes things stay, stay together. It's like grip. So here's my little pot. I score there by the belly of the little guy. And here is the guy holding a pot. See how simple that is? So that is a figure pot. You can make a big figure like that. Another kind of pot, which I'm gonna show you today, is more like a cylindrical, like a cylinder. 
which is this kind. Okay, so we made a pinch pot. Remember, you make a ball, you put your thumb, then you put two thumbs, and you go around and around and make a pot. This one will need you to squash the clay down with your hand like that. You might even have to stand that. I also have a rolling made out of cardboard, and I can roll the clay with that. See that? So I can roll the clay with a rolling pin that your mom makes cookies with pie. <laughs> you can borrow it and clean it after. So I made a nice slab, a piece of clay. Now I'm gonna cut it with my popsicle stick as straight as I can possibly cut it without a ruler or measuring thing. So there it is, see? Okay, so from the leftover, I'm gonna make the bottom of it, which is this part. So this part is gonna be rolled into a little cylinder. Again, these are very small and very quickly made because we don't have a lot of time. So I cut a circle. I can use something to shape like a circle, like my cup here, you know, and go like that. And cut a little circle, see that? Perfect. Score, remember, scratch around. And then scratch around this guy here, which is gonna be folded in to a cylinder. And I'm gonna scratch on both sides there. And I'm gonna use my finger or my popsicle stick even better. The less you touch the clay, the better it is because clay tends to dry very quickly. And when it dries, it cracks and it's just very hard to manage. But at this point, it has the perfect amount of water. So it's nice and moist. And it has the perfect uh, consistency. So it's not sticky, sticky. See, my hands are pretty clean. And I'm going to have this little pot right here. Okay, so I'm going to score that and score here. Score means scratching because that's how clay stick together. Clay is funny. If I take a piece of clay and I said, oh, that will stick there because it's wet, it might stick, but when it dries, it will come off. So it will break off. So I'm putting the base and now I'm taking my popsicle stick or my fingers and going around and around and around to make the base, the bottom part of my, of my um, cylindrical pot, Mayan pot. So they make pots for different things, mainly for uh, as utensils, like we use pots today for cooking, for putting things in it, for saving stuff. I have even stuff in here, some money in there <laughs> that I put. So, okay, so once we get the little pot made, we don't have a kiln to fire it. You need to fire it at uh, very high temperatures. Don't try putting it in your mom's oven because that doesn't work. It's like 1200 um, or more heat that you, that you need to burn clay, to fire clay. So instead of firing it, we are gonna use white glue, just with all glue and um, a little brush here. So I'm gonna pour some glue here. It's a little watery, my glue. For one second, use this brush to stick it inside. Okay, so glue makes the clay seal. It becomes almost like if you're painting something or varnishing something. It makes it seal. That means it won't crack when it dries. That means it won't be porous. It's clear, so you can see there. Let it dry a little bit. And then if you want to do um, a design, like um, this is called incising, and you can do a design by scratching the clay, not too hard because you will cut right through. So I'm doing some kind of a figures in here, some snakes, which they love. And then I have paint. When it dries, the glue dries, I can take a little bit of paint and use a little color in it. It's okay if you mix it with the glue because paint actually, acrylic contains glue. So it's uh, it's okay. So I'm using a kind of a reddish thing there. Not much color. They didn't have a lot of colors. They had blue from indigo plant, red from clay and brick, you know, red brick clay. 
and here's some blue. And, um, and you can actually paint your little pot with, um, with some acrylic paints. Acrylics are fantastic paints. They work just great. So here it is. So very quickly, I have shown you how to make a Mayan pot from the Mayan culture. Thank you so much.